Well, hello there, everybody. It's me, Dr. Dirtak. I have a prescription for you. I call it mouse back. <laughs> All right. Um, just want to make a quick video here, a quick little so-called Dirtak. Um, and mouse back. What I'm going to show you is how to bind backspace. You can see I have a commented out key binding here. To bind backspace to the um, back button of the mouse, you know, the one that you browse backwards with. Uh, let's uh, open some page here. I have some open. Yeah, whatever. Let's just uh, go here. And then I click back button. And it goes back, you know, on the mouse. Um, if I do that here in Sublime, I think it will just switch tabs here. No. Well, now it's probably in effect here. No, yeah. So, back and forward, forward that uh, switches tabs in Sublime by default. Oops, wrong. Here we have it. So, forward, backwards. And this is quite nice, actually, to switch tabs like this in one way. But if you bind um, uh, the back button to, to backspace, you get this, and it's. I, I have been using this for year for for years. It's uh, really nice. I will reload i3 here now. And we can open a temporary file, just tmp file, whatever. Write some text here, like that. And now, since backspace is bound to back button, I can do things like this. And this is actually quite nice to be able to do. Sometimes you just can uh, yeah quickly edit text and the nice thing is that most browsers they they have backspace if i press backspace button here now um well first we have to go forward if i press backspace button it will go back because that's uh, the default in many browsers and if it isn't there's uh, always a setting so you can set backspace to be uh, uh the back button. You can also use Alt uh, um, left and Alt right to go back and forward in history by default in every browser. But now since we have changed, uh, it, it is still um, backspace here now on on uh, mouse button. So if I press back uh, that here, it will also go back because that's a default. But if I would uh, um, go into a text box and uh, let's just do this I can use backspace here in input mo mode but when I am here then it works like back the, this this hack uh, is uh, incredibly uh, it, it's hard to hard to shake I've been using this for maybe eight ten years or something I used it on Windows with auto hotkey uh, figured it out there somehow um, and you can do it, uh, and I just this is why I make this video now because I just figured out how to do this uh, in i3 uh, more or less natively. You need X2 tool here, but before uh, uh, a couple of minutes ago, I have been using S S X H K D R C to to with only this uh, key binding in, inside of it to to achieve this. And this means that you can use XX uh, whatever uh, with any window manager, even like uh, I think it works with with uh, GNOME or, or KD or, or anything. And you can add this, and then you can use it with any. Um, and this will work, but uh, it's totally unnecessary to do so if you have i3 and probably many other uh, window managers with built-in uh, uh, keyboard managers. In i3, you write it like this, and I have tried this before, but I haven't gotten it working. But the problem was that you cannot have release uh, as a flag, and you need this whole window. Otherwise, the key binding will only operate on, on the title bar. We can demo it here a bit if we do this. If I remove this, um, we can duplicate the line, comment it out, uh, and then instead of this... We do a dunstify uh, tester like that. Reload. I think reload. Oops, wrong key. Reload. 
there. And now if I press the back button, we should see a Dunstify uh, message. Yeah, and we see that. So that means it works and I can press the back button anywhere and it will uh, uh, send this Dunstify thing. But as I had it set up before, I had the release key as I had here with button 2. And this means, uh, this button 2, it, it is that I can kill a window uh, by middle clicking the title bar. Bam. That's also nice. <coughs> because we don't have close buttons in i3 but with the release flag here then this doesn't work I think this is a bug in i3 actually I'm gonna write an issue or, or see if someone else have, have done so there and now if I pre press back button nothing well this happened I don't know what that was yeah now we get the same, uh, the, the normal back button behavior, but if I press back button on the title bar, then we get the message. So that's weird, because we have the, uh, it's like double uh, error here. Since we have a whole window, it should, should, shouldn't um, affect the title bar. But removing the release flag, then it worked. So. Just a quick dirt hack, I will add these commands uh, to the show notes. Maybe create a little GitHub repo with a SXHKDRC. And this weird name, it stands for Simple X Hotkey Demon. Uh, and it's a small program, you can get it. Uh, I know it's available in AUR, but it's also available here on GitHub. So I, I don't think it's a problem to install it anywhere. And you also need this X2 tool to, to send the backspace uh, button. Highly recommended in one way. In one way, this is also something that you get so... I, I'm so used to this, so uh, I often press back button to erase something on other computers or when this is not active and then you can get the undesired results like going back instead of, of, of erasing things. So it's one of those things, you know, you, you, you can get too attached to it in a way. But that's uh, Dr. Dirtak's uh, little prescription for today. The mouse back hack. Thank you for watching. Bye bye bye.